Now, welcome back to our feature story tonight. You know, it's quite common to see big production trailers around town as movies and TV shows use the city as a backdrop. However, it's much more common for smaller independent filmmakers to also be out there on a regular basis. My special guest will join me in just a minute. But first, Antoine Lewis begins our look at this little guy trying to hit the big time. Are you scared? Sanitas Pacifica is an independent film about an aging man's search for enlightenment, written and directed by John Ash Say, a New York-based filmmaker. But I started watching all these older films, these classics, these independent films, these art films, and I, just some kind of bell started ringing, and I started thinking, I, I think I might have something to say. I didn't know anybody wanted to hear that kind of stuff. Indie filmmakers remain those industry outsiders who forego the big studios and answer only to their creative voice. Brooklyn native Eric Grievous is another. All my life I've had very crazy visions and I'd like to share with people. It's almost like I have something in my mind and I want to share it with you. And uh, that's what filmmaking does. It allows you to put these crazy ideas, you know, up, up on a screen and, and let everybody see what you're thinking, you know. We come free. This trailer is from Rebus's film Vamp Bikers, an independent horror about turf wars between bloodthirsty Nosferatu's shot in Coney Island, a frequent setting for Rebus films. I'm fond of Coney Island because it, it's what I call my little universal studios. I mean, you could go and shoot anywhere, anytime, especially in the winter, the dead of winter. And the roots of indie filmmaking are right here in the Big Apple. Joe Newmeyer is a film scholar and movie critic for AM770 WOR Radio. You can look at people like John Cassavetes and how important he was to the independent film movement of the 1960s and early 70s. In the 1990s, uh, guys like Kevin Smith and, uh, and, and that ilk all used New York as a, as a creative uh, flowering bed. But financing that creativity is tough enough for major filmmakers. For the independents, it's even harder. Let's use crowdfunding. So we went through Indiegogo. Had our struggles with that in some ways, but overall it was a really wonderful experience. We reached our goal of $10,000. And then it's, the struggles came that, that that made us have more creative thought. Success is happening to both Rivas and Say. Sydney Pacifica has drawn praise at several national and international film festivals and right now is nominated for awards at the Las Vegas Action on Film competition. Every one of those men and women who are our heroes that we could go down and list, the only thing that they all specifically have in common is that they did not wait for anyone to give them permission to try to tell the stories they wanted to tell. And Vamp Bikers spawned two sequels which caught the attention of bosses at Sony Pictures who will distribute the entire trilogy June 21st on streaming platforms including Amazon, Vudu, Google Play and iTunes. I was shooting with a vacation camera. Now I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm, I'm I'm on the news, oh my God, you know? It's just, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? From the Upper East Side, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5.